Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing an In Love Arts haul and project share. So let's get started. Hey guys, so the first thing I got was this very cute die from In Love Arts. It's like, whoops, it's like stars, the sky, it's like a map of the sky. It's really, really cute. Now, by the way, I did order straight from In Love Arts and not through AliExpress. So here is the first piece. Very cool. It's embossed and die cut. It's a little small and there is the other this beautiful embossed piece right here and this very very nice um, gold paper from tonic studios and then you put the two pieces together like that you can use different papers so that's very very pretty and then you kind of like put that star in that open space there in the paper so it's very very nice even though it's a little you know small but i actually still like it so i think it's really really adorable yeah if you um order directly from in love arts it's so much quicker it came within a few days so the second thing i got was this uh, goodie bag topper so very very pretty there's the topper there and let me just pop out some of these pieces of paper that i forgot to pop out i just used it in my die uh cut machine so it's really really nice almost looks like a daisy very pretty i love the texture to it so here is what it looks like once you die cut it and then that's what it looks like when you fold it so basically there's a little line right there the little perforated line and you just fold it in half and then basically you put that little center piece um fold it down and simple as that and you have a little goodie bag topper very very pretty and then you can decorate if you want or you can leave it plain and uh, quite frankly i think i think it looks beautiful just plain and I love that design. It looks like uh, flowers and a very cute daisy. Okay, so the next thing I got was this very, very cool, beautiful die. I love the texture on this. It's like a leaf background die. It is so, so cool. I love the design of it. And in this project, I did, I use these stamps. It's a teacup, it's a tea kettle, um, a little plant and a cupcake. So I used three of the stamps. And here they are. So I cut them out. I decorated them. I used my alcohol uh, markers and my Aquaflow markers. I love the texture of this and the Nouveau um, vintage drops and that beautiful peach color. And yeah, I just layered it with that beautiful die and then I cut out the stamps and I also decorated them. I left the card blank for now. So that is that project. And I also cut out another teapot for the envelope so it matches. So I really, really love that. I kind of did a few things I usually don't do in my paper crafting. And I can't wait to show you what's up next. All right. So up next are these beautiful stamps. These are like corner embellishment stamps. So you would put them in the corners of your uh, papers, of your projects, and they're really, really pretty and just beautiful spaces to color them in. So this is the project I made. So I stamped it, I cut out the stamps, I colored them, and I use, of course, the Aquaflow markers for the background on the card itself, on the cardstock, and I used, again, the vintage, uh, the vintage drops. And I love those colors. And I put a little tuck space right there to put some dried flowers. I never, never did that before in paper crafting. Put dried flowers in. And again, I left the card blank. And I just love the way this came out. It's very like bohemian, boho. I love it. I love the colors. I love the way this came out. So bright and beautiful. And I am just in love with that stamp. This made me get really, really creative and do something totally different. 
Okay, so up next is this stamp. This beautiful flower stamp with enough room to color it in as well. Very beautiful. And by the way, I got everything here for 40% off, which was awesome. So I just colored it in with uh, my alcohol markers. I love that. And I'm going to save that piece for another project. I could die cut it out. Or I could just cut it out. I used Aquaflow markers and again, the, or the alcohol markers as both as well. And that is that project. So I'm going to save that for like another card or something else. Alrighty, two more things left. So up next is this very, very cool stamp. Obviously fish and beachy, seashells, um, little uh, squid there. Um, not squid. Jellyfish, sorry. Uh, starfish. So I just cut the little fishy out and I sprayed it with some Nouveau Mica Spray with the inks. And here is the jellyfish, not the squid, and a shell as my camera goes out of focus. But I use like a very a nice cocoa brown um, ink. So I'm gonna actually gonna save these pieces as well for another project that's coming up. And I really love these stamps. I think they're very intricate, really, really pretty, and really great prices. So, the last item, I'm going to get this envelope so you can see the stamp. So, here's what the stamp looks like, and I just put that back on so you can actually see it more clearly. And there it is, it's like this beautiful poem with the flowers on top of it, it's really beautiful. And I did a vintage inspired um, project. So, I really love the way this came out. I used my Aquaflow markers and that beautiful, pretty glittery gold. I used some Dollar Tree rub-on stickers. I love these. So I also used the Distress Oxide and Salvage Patina. And like I said, I used some Aquaflow markers in these colors. And one of those uh, markers is that very clear glitter marker. I love that one because this gives all everything like a sheen. You see? And there it is. There's that beautiful stamp. And again, some more rub-on um, stickers from the Dollar Tree. That beautiful patina. And this is the color I used to um, you on the stamp. And I also use that tool to kind of rough up the edges of that paper. And I just love the way this project came out. I think it's really, really cool. I just kind of pushed myself a little bit with the Destructs Oxide. I did something totally different. Um, there's that glitter pen, excuse me, the glitter marker. And I really love this project. I think it's so cool. And I just kind of like push myself to do something totally different. Uh, than what I usually do and I think it's absolutely gorgeous so that's it guys thank you so so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed watching and looking at all my beautiful projects that I made I hope you like them as much as I love making them so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Give me a like and share it so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.